In this video, I'm going to talk about Dataverse Search. Uh, the Dataverse Search is a search provided by Microsoft Power Platform. Now that Dataverse Search can be used in multiple applications. So uh, as you know, like Dynamics Customer Service has, uh, like if you surface out the information of Dynamics Customer Service and Dynamics Customer Service Portal, so the Dynamic Customer Service Portal is basically a Power Pages or a Power Portal site now by default power portal site uses something called as lucene.net search okay now what if we want to enable dataverse search for that particular portal now as you see in my screen i'm in a power platform admin center and i have navigated to the environment and when i navigate to the environment let me show you the environment uh under settings uh let it load so if we go into settings, then uh, under features, okay, uh, you will see a component called as search over here. Here, you need to turn this on in order to make the dataverse search enabled. Now, what happens when you turn this on? When you turn this on, searches in the supported product areas will use dataverse search. Model driven app will also receive new search improvements. Now. This is not only specific to Power Pages or Power Apps portal, but it is it is for a wider uh, consumption. Now, Power Pages or Power Portals uh, can also make use of Dataverse Search. Now, how we can do that, I will show you uh, in the in in like in some time. Okay. Now, before we delve into Dataverse Search, let's look into what are the various options which is available. Now, one of the other options which you can see over here is single table search option. Now, when you enable this on, what happens is the Dataverse search will be uh, will provide a shortcut to restrict the search. So it won't search through the entire repository, but it will restrict the search to search for a single table on view pages of the search enabled table. So this option will provide you some sort of like an efficient search uh, if your search is pretty much limited to one particular table. Okay. Also, there are other options like prevent slow keyword filter for quick find terms on view pages. Uh, so when the database search is off, slow queries are allowed, but will show some warnings, you know. So now if you enable that, then it will prevent slow keyword filter for quick find terms. Uh, also, there are a couple of other options to quick find record limits and quick find view of an entity for searching on grids and subgrids. Now that's about uh, Power Platform Admin Center settings for Dataverse search. Now, against a case entity, or it can be against any entity, I'm in this uh, section, like if I uh, click on properties over here, okay? Now, the property pane will open on the right, and under advanced option, you will <coughs> see some options uh, called as appear in search results. Now, this should be ticked if you want your entity records to appear in search results okay now for dynamics 365 customer service uh, there is a uh, an entity or a table called as knowledge articles now if you tick that box then those particular records within that uh, uh, entity will appear in the search results so this is also one of the important uh, parameter you need to keep in mind uh, while configuring search okay coming back to <clears throat> the solutions now if you create any solutions okay so i've created one solution uh called as girish inc module okay and i've added a couple of tables in it okay now make sure that uh, by default you are in the objects view okay whereby you can see all the tables or connections or apps within your solution but if you go into the overview section here you will see one interesting box called as a uh, card called as Dataverse Search. Now here it will show you against the table which you have added either as a creation or as a reference. It will show you how many columns are indexed for search. So within this solution and within this environment. So within this environment, 40% are used, 40% are used. And within this solution, 4% is used. And now what it is that? Now, when you click on manage search index against those tables, it will tell you how many columns are added to the index. So, and if you go into the index tab, you will see uh, this particular uh, like account and case entities are added as a part of uh, the indexing process. So that will help you search 
for various columns within your uh, table uh, to give a, a better search result. So this is also one of the areas to watch out for if you uh, encounter a troubleshooting issue for configuring search within your environment. Moving back to here, now this is the portal management. Now think about it, you have a Dynamics customer service portal, okay, within your organization. Uh, and then you want to configure or enable the database search. Now by default, now over a, like maybe by September, October month, uh, October 2023, database search will be the default search, okay. But uh, <clears throat> There is one site setting which you need to uh, enable to get those dataverse search enabled. Uh, so that's uh, if you go into one of the article, uh, let me navigate to that article. Now this article in Learn Microsoft, it says you need to enable add a site setting called a search slash enable dataverse search and set it to true. Okay, I'll take this uh, site setting and I'll, I'll go into the site setting and I'll add the site setting. Okay, now you need to add this uh, site setting against your site and make this value true to enable the Dataverse search. Now, by default, Lucene search is enabled within your tenant for Power Pages or Power Portal site. So, if you want to make use of Dataverse search, make sure that the setting is set to true. Now, in the portal, Power Pages portal or Power Apps portal or Dynamics 365 ADX portal, uh, by default, there are multiple searches which are currently in play. Now, one is the Lucene.net search, which is based on Apache. It searches within the multiple tables and field at once. Uh, for a period of time, it, it used to work fine, but then as and when uh, the uh, optimization came into picture, then this search was uh, rendered not useful. And that's why people started using Dataverse search. Now, Dataverse search can search across multiple tables by relevance. And uh, it can do a lot many things which Lucene.net search couldn't do. Okay, so make sure that you look into uh, this part as well. Now, as Lucene.net search uh, is like say out of uh, it's deprecated basically, as you see over here. Now, all the existing customer who you are using Lucene need to migrate to Dataverse by October 2023. And Dataverse search will be by default enabled. So you need not even have that switch within the site setting to, uh, you know, to uh, for the existing website uh, to make it enable uh, for Dataverse search. Okay, so it will be by default enabled. So by default, Dataverse search would be uh, enabled. If you enable it from an environment side, uh, the by default your portal will be using those dataverse search in the backend. So that's all about dataverse search in this video. So make sure that you enable the dataverse search within your environment. And once you enable that, this is the first step for configuring the search. So if you don't turn this on, your search will not be visible in the Dynamics 365 customer service portal. Thanks for watching.